Hey guys, I'm Matt Joseph Diaz, working in conjunction with Ravshi.com, and today I want to convince you not to stop believing in people. I've been thinking about this a lot recently, especially because not too long ago I moved to a new city where I basically had to make an entirely new group of friends. I'm still in my early 20s, but I'm coming across a lot of people who've been through a lot of difficult shit. Even at my young age, I know a lot of people who've survived some of the toughest things that life has to offer. And because of the things we survive, I feel like we have a tendency to not put our trust in other people. And I don't mean this in the way that people usually talk about it. Especially on social media, you run into a lot of situations where people basically say things like, I'm never gonna trust anybody again, I keep my circle small for a reason. And honestly, that kinda feels like bullshit. Because even though you've been hurt in the past, even though you've been wronged and betrayed and let down by people, the solution to that is not to refuse to let anybody else in. That's not a solution to a problem, that's avoiding a problem entirely. Having to basically start over from scratch, having to develop all these new friendships and relationships, I have learned a lot about what it really means to connect with people. And trust me when I say that I understand the fear of being hurt. I really, really do. But here's one of the beautiful things about people. They will always, always surprise you. And sometimes that's bad. Sometimes that's finding out someone you thought really cared for you doesn't really seem to that much. But even when you've been hurt, even when you've been through so much, you can't let that ruin you. Because that's how the tragedy wins. Human beings thrive on social interaction. Not only is that how we communicate and develop relationships, relationships, but it's also how we better ourselves. They say nobody who achieves anything great ever gets there alone. And that's true in so many different respects. Because yeah, you have the people who support you, who care for you, the people who make you better, but also the people who hurt you can add something to your life as well. I can't tell you how many positive changes I've made in my life specifically because of people who I don't want in it. Sometimes these negative experiences can be lessons. They can teach us very important things about ourselves and about our communication with other people. And even though these are objectively terrible experiences that have happened to you, as long as you learned a lesson from them, they're never truly wasted time. But the main reason you should never give up on people is because they will always surprise you with how far they're willing to go to help you. Take this from personal experience. Take this from somebody who at one time thought he had absolutely no one in the whole world. There is always someone who loves you. There is always someone who cares. And there is always someone who's willing to go to amazing lengths just to do something good for you. I've seen and experienced some terrible things, but I will tell you that people will always go farther to help you than they ever would to hurt you. And there is so much beauty in that. You can't let these negative things things win. Because if you do, it robs you of some of the most important and meaningful experiences that life has to offer. The nature of being human is to connect with others and to love others and develop these important connections that change you fundamentally as a person. And even though it's difficult, and even though it's scary, and even though it can be so, so painful, those few moments where you look at someone and you realize how much they truly care for you, it makes it all worthwhile. Don't ever give up on people. Because at the end of the day, people will never truly give up on you. Well, guys, that's all for now. Uh, check out Ravish.com for a bunch of great articles, including stuff that I write. Check out my Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, all at Matt Joseph Diaz. You can find the links down there. And if you want to help support the work I do here, check out MattJosephDiaz.com slash donate. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.